Welcome to Cruise Control. All right, guys, welcome back to Cruise Control. My name's Eric, and today we have a special surprise for you. We are driving a Ford Mach-E. That's right, in this winter storm, we are out testing the Ford Mach-E, those lovely heated seats, heated steering wheel, and to check to see what the battery life's gonna do. This is not a full review, this is a quick test drive, so this is gonna be my initial impressions. But without further ado, let's take a look at the one we're driving today. Ooh, look at that blue one. Look at that blue one. Look how beautiful it is, look at it, look at it. Oh man, I know a lot of people they're hating on the fact that it's called a Mustang. But you look at right here. Yeah, that, that's where that Mustang comes in. Oh, let's also check to see where that Mustang comes in in the back because we all know what Mustang taillights look like. And there you go, right? So then this thing is a good looking SUV. I love the two-tone. This black part of the roof up here, man, that makes it look really, really nice. The wheels, look at this red that's inside of your red caliper gives you that sporty intention. This thing is quiet, it's comfortable, it's fast, fits your whole family. Man, I love it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it a little bit farther away. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this thing. Gas prices, everybody, gas prices are gonna get up to about $6 a gallon nationwide average probably. And what's gonna keep you from going bankrupt is getting an EV. So, the channel may have changed its mind. Originally, I was looking at some cool cars and all of them were relatively fuel efficient, but nothing beats an EV. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we think. Let's see what kind of space I have. Oh man, I have so much space. Look at this headroom that's up here. That is so nice. We have rear AC vents. We got some mat pockets that's right here. I got enough space to stretch my legs out. Beautiful. Uh, huge sun sunroof that's back here. I got a spot for my, my armrest that's back here, some cup holders. We got a USB connector. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff. This thing is awesome. I love this. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at a couple of EVs. I went to look at an Ionic 5 today. They didn't have any. I went to go look at an EV6. They didn't have any. So uh, we're gonna look at this. We're gonna look at the ID4, the EV6, and the, uh, the Ionic 5. So those are the ones that we're looking at. Let's take a look at the front though. Look at this cool thing. Love it. Lots of space, lots of tech. This screen is just huge <laughs> and it has everything that's on there, right? So cool. Man. So let's go ahead and get on the road and tell you guys what it's like. All right, wanted to show you guys what this looks like on startup. Wow, that is so cool. So we're on low battery. This one didn't have much battery range. It was at 50 miles when we first got it. It's at 46 now. It is cold, it is starting to snow outside. It's about 20 degrees. This is a giant iPad and I don't know all the features, just know there's a bunch. This is how you're gonna go ahead and shift into gear. That's reverse. Here's your nice backup camera. You got your neutral, drive, and low. We have one, two, three person memory. So there's up to three different people that could have their memory uh, seated positions remembered. This does have heated seats power windows, cruise control, it has everything that's on there. So it is a really cool car. Let's get it on the road. This is my beautiful wife, Jess. You'll know her from a few videos. Most recently, the Miata, I think was the last one that she was in with me. So we have our heated seats on. We have everything that's going on here. So let's go ahead and get some initial driving impressions. I would like her to drive it as well. So Jessica, what do you think of this vehicle so far? Well. One thing I noticed as a consumer is how spacious the vehicle is. It's insane. I, I'm i even like sitting, as I'm used to usually sitting in a car, like kind of just pushed in within myself. I, there's so much space. It feels true. spacious. I, I am sitting as if I'm sitting on a couch. Right? Absolutely. What? And we introduced her to one pedal driving. Here we go. We're going to stop at this stop sign and I'm going to take my foot off the accelerator pedal and we've completely stopped. What do you think of one pedal driving? The good thing is, is that it did pick up that, you know, that it can stop. That's pretty cool. By you picking up your foot off the acceleration, it then creates like, okay, you're done. Right. And you were explaining to me that it's because it's preserving the battery. Yes. Okay. Uh, it has a really, it's, it's not jerking you when it breaks, which is really cool. I would have expected that it would have. That's a 
And so um, I do like that it does break very smoothly and it's not jerking you. Okay, so we don't have that many miles that's on here, but I did want to do a brief acceleration test just to kind of see how that feels. Overall though, the car is very comfortable. It's very quiet, it's very smooth. Like Jess says, it's very spacious. Honestly, I like it. Me too. And I didn't think I was, to be quite honest. I was like, because you weren't that impressed with the uh, the Tesla. Right? I don't want you the... to say that out loud, man. Get me in trouble. Now look, oh, no, no, no. I like Tesla. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, you can go back to that video and check it out. There is a difference from this particular model already, and I still have a lot of love. I'm much and more comfortable in Tesla, this than this I was in the Tesla Model Three specifically. The three. Now we've also been inside a Model S, and we mm -hmm. both love a Model S. Model yeah. S's are bigger. They're more comfortable. They feel something more like this. It's just lower to the ground. Yeah. This has that commanding view so that nice. people, the reason why people buy SUVs are two reasons. One, practical, you have cargo capacity, everyone fits inside. And then two, people love that commanding view, right? And so you're gonna get that commanding view in here. It is very smooth, just like a Tesla would be. But unlike the Model 3, it's not just this screen, right? It's both screens. I have my re readout that's right here. And we all know what happened in the Model 3. The whole system rebooted. I couldn't even see how fast I was going. So go ahead and check out that Tesla Model 3 video. I'll be honest with you, I'm very impressed with this Me car. Too. The sound system's not gonna show in the video. It's You can't get an idea of how right, good this right. sound system is. <laughs> but this is a Bang & Olufsen sound system, shortened out, it's B&O. It is a fantastic sound system. Uh, the interior fit and finish is really good. I'm going over a lot of bumps. This car already has 13,000 miles, no creaks, no rattles. Would you like to do an acceleration test? Yes, please. Whoa, whoa, that's so interesting. I feel like I'm a little person in a remote control car. What did you, you notice that? Look at this, you guys, I'm pinned. I can't even get my head to come back right now. And that's not even like a major acceleration that we do in regular fuel efficient no, cars. Like, no, no, no. or um, efficient that too. initial <laughs> That initial bite right there, that is whoa. really, impressive it, it how, does how this, much it, this movement back <laughs> it does just like the tesla right now the tesla was faster so it was a harder shove oh. than what this one is but you know what this one is fast it's fast enough i don't need any more speed than this this is definitely fast enough for everyday driving no one needs to go ridiculously quick but it has enough power to get yourself out of a situation the reason why i like having cars with a little bit more power is because it does help you in certain situations in my opinion so I definitely like that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this for my wife to be able to drive. We're gonna take turns right now and we're gonna see what she thinks of the driving as well. So we'll be right back with you guys. It feels different. Doesn't I feel it? like I'm gliding. Okay, oh, so, so let me smooth. share that. That That's what it feels like mm -hmm. to me. My impression is this does not feel like the car. Like it's so wild. You guys, this is the most smoothest vehicle in regards to, I'm, I, it's so effortless. It is and it just glides. It's crazy how it glides. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do what you said, just lifting my foot off the, look how fast that is. Mm -hmm. You just so you lift it. I know, I just didn't know what it was like. So Absolutely. I wanted to see how far it Absolutely. was. And if I go like this, hey, I like this one pedal thing so far. I didn't think yeah. I was. <laughs> I was like, ah, what do you mean one pedal? Right. But if you need to do about? an emergency brake, I can. Go ahead and use the brake like normal. Boom. And that's Boom. if I really need that's it. That's when if you okay? really need it. But that's But that this was does me. have cross traffic alert. It'll help brake for you. So let's say somebody's gonna come into an intersection and you're accidentally turning, it will actually brake for you so you don't hit the car. Really? Yes. So it's a smart car. Is a smart car. This headrest, when your head goes against it, very comfortable. Most headrests, they're not. Let's be honest, this is they're such not. A trip. So I really like this car, and we are looking at an EV now. So let me know in your comments section down below. We're gonna be looking at the Ionic 5. We're gonna be looking at the EV6. Obviously the Mach E plus the ID4. Uh, and any other EVs that come up before we make our decision, then we're gonna look at those as well. But yeah, let us know down below what you think. All right, so with our, our final thoughts, we're gonna start off with the exterior, what we each think of the car. Jessica, what do you think of the outside of this car? Well, you know, like the GR86, I love that grabber blue. Absolutely. So you're catching me already with the color. Uh, the color is really fun. So 
Honestly, to be able to be in a vehicle of this type of style and color, I feel like I got to take one of our vehicles from when we were like going dates and yeah. stuff and we would do like bumper cars yeah. or we would do stuff, but I get to bring it out onto the street and yeah. it's better, it's stronger. It is. It's smooth. It is. So, it's so cool. I do like the exterior. It is it is different. And even like, I like the little touches that they put, like even on the side mirrors, like they have its own little shape and it is different. And they are accomplishing, keeping some of that nostalgia of what we're accustomed to, but yet, bringing in what we've been waiting for, like that yeah. futuristic stuff. So true. I dig it. Um, now let's talk about the inside of the car. What do you think about all the stuff that's inside here? So impressed. The moment that I got into the vehicle, I love the textures. Mm -hmm. It's like we're, we're taking beautiful versions of that's the right. original and we're witnessing it evolve mm -hmm. in this new modern time. Like how yeah. cool is this? So. I like when I come in, it automatically, you know you're in the future. You're yep. in the present time. We are moving forward as a society because when you come in here, you got the largest tablet. I it's laughed. Huge. I laughed. <laughs> I, I, I looked at Eric and I go, are you kidding me? It's like, <laughs> I'm literally right now, this is, I'm, re, I'm, I'm even out of scope, okay? Yeah, I can't huge. even show you guys, it's huge. Yeah. So it's like probably like the size it's literally, literally yeah. the size of my arm. From here to here, it's the okay. size of her entire form. So, you know, it's really clear. So I like that. I, yeah. I laughed at first. It's, it's something to get used to. It does take some time, but man, I could see clear. I, I could even take my glasses off and I could see it so well. That's so true. I'll tell you that there is no <laughs> confusion true. of buttons other than getting used to what they do, but it's just like our cell phones. Yeah. Our cell phones are the, our cell phones prepared us for this. True. Right. This is the. This next is evolution. it. So it's like you got the largest cell phone, and you're gonna work with it, and it's like your automated car, and yeah. you can make make it work. That's what I could share with you. If you're an experiencer like we are, we are. That really worked for us. Yeah. Now, of course, we're gonna keep checking things out because yes. this is all new to all of us. And so, you're, thank you for joining us in our yes, journey of like checking it out because Absolutely. once the gas started to change, I was like, oh. Yeah. Then yeah. I was like, can you please look at EVs for us? Yes, and that's why we're looking at EVs for ourselves and for you guys as well, right? So us. leave your comments down below what questions you guys have, what you guys would like to look at. We're going to start reviewing these on a more long-term basis as well. This is just a quick initial thought. We just went and grabbed it. So we haven't had more than an hour with it, but we're just giving you our initial impressions. I loved how it drove. I don't really have anything negative. Is it a sports car? No, but you know what? For a daily driver, it is fantastic. It's still fun, it's entertaining, it's quick, it's quiet, it's comfortable, it's all the things that you would want in a daily driver. I really don't have anything negative to say about the vehicle other than maybe maybe the price, right? These are all expensive right now because it's all new and technology is really expensive when it's new. So yes, it is expensive. However, you can get tax rebates to help you with that cost. And of course you have to think about maintenance. Are you paying for oil changes? No, you're not. Are you gonna pay for gasoline? No, you're not. So you have to look nice. at the entire cost of operations. That's gonna bring this down. So I'm really excited. I really like this vehicle. Let's go check out some other ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.